Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD version. It is currently part 62 for my Let's Play, and it is the 20th of July 2018 as I am recording this. So this may or may not be the final recording that I do for Wind Waker HD. It probably will be, simply for the fact that as I go through here, now I'm not going to be immediately in the final section of the game. There are sort of like, I guess two or three sections that I have to get through before I get to the final, final boss. So it is possible that I won't be doing this in one recording, but because it might be difficult to leave that section in the middle of it, like those different sections, I'll probably just go ahead and do all of it as I'm already here. Like, you know, just keep doing the recordings and not stopping until I finish the game. That's generally how I like to do things. Oh yeah, that's right. There's this thing here. So what I'm doing at this point, I think, is heading down to where the pedestal is? Probably. I think that's what I need to be doing right now. My memory of this is kind of vague, because it's been some time since I last got to this point in, I guess, the game. But that's alright. I'm pretty sure what we need to do is, yeah, find Zelda, who we have essentially trapped in here. And I hope she has air, and food, and all of those sorts of things. That's probably a metaphor for the fact that we've killed her. You know, she's disappeared because she's dead. Although, her corpse isn't anywhere nearby, so... Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I have taken your Princess Zelda, or Precious Zelda, I should say. Now, I remember this scene very well. Whoa! Remember this very well because... I had, like, no health one time while taking these guys on, so I had to take many, many attempts to fight them. So I saw that opening cutscene so many times, it was insane. You can see how much health they have because of my health bar here. Well, not my health bar, but the fact that I'm able to see their health bars, you can see quite clearly that they have quite a large amount of health. I just remember... I think it was sometime in 2011 when I was playing through the game again because I didn't like the fact that my best save was Pajama Mode Link. I kind of missed Green Link. So I played through the game again in 2010 and finished it in 2011. And I just remember doing this over and over and over again. Because I had like half a heart or something like that. So I had to keep on trying repeatedly to kill these guys. It's not going to be too hard this time around. Because I have plenty of health. But speaking of my hearts, I am kind of upset that I don't have more heart containers. I mean, it kind of sucks to finish the game when I've only got, you know... I mean, it's more than half, but it's, yeah, more like two-thirds of the way done. Hello, can you fight me? I mean, he was attempting to punch me there, but it wasn't very good. His attempts fell short of, well, doing anything, really. Anyway, I'm gonna go and pick up some hearts again. The lighting has changed because the fire is gone. I'm guessing we... what do we want to do now? What have we achieved here? I don't know. I guess now we can access the rest of the castle, is that right? Let's... let's hope that's the case. We're about to find out either way. Oh, okay. So Link's just gonna do the running himself, that's perfectly fine. Now that's gonna disappear. And we were able to actually access this when we first came to the castle when we were getting the Master Sword the first time. But you see, there's a barrier here that we can't actually break, unless you're doing weird-ass glitches in the original game on GameCube, I will mention. That might be in the Japanese version only, actually. But, yeah, you need the fully upgraded Master Sword to be able to cut this, as far as I know. I don't know if you need the, the Triforce. You probably do. I don't know if you need the Triforce to come back down here. You probably do. I don't know, but... All I know is that we are going through this game in the correct, I guess, uh, chronological order. All the series of events are correct. I'm pretty sure that you generally want to wait <laughs> until you have the full Triforce before doing this. Whether it's absolutely required, I'm not too sure, but I do know that this breaks because we have the fully powered up Master Sword, so... Yeah. And then we got an, a really awful starting camera angle there. <laughs> I don't know why that happened, and I don't think it was like that in the original game, but whatever. I'm just going to go down through here. You can see this is rather expansive. 
the castle that is actually pictured here, well, I say pictured, that is physically standing here, I should say, is the same castle design as the one that appears in Spirit Tracks, for obvious reasons, because the whole idea is that Spirit Tracks and Wind Waker are sort of in the same universe, or at the very least they're close to each other. So the Hyrule Castle that we see here is pretty much the same design. Um, what else was I going to say? I was going to say something else as well, but I've forgotten now. That's all right. Just going to roll up through here, kill some chews. Not too difficult. I'm, I don't really mind wasting my arrows here because I have so many of them. So I may as well. Really, I should just attack them with my sword and then save my arrows for these guys. But once again, I have so many arrows that they're rather disposable. You know, kill this guy with my sword, because why not, you know? I remember in the original game I was very on and off about having the uh, the hero's charm on my face, because at first it was kind of cool, and then I kind of missed seeing Link's actual face, so I took it off, but having that health bar is definitely very helpful, so... Yeah, I'm going to keep it on for the rest of this game, at the very least. Now for... What I plan to do in the future with Wind Waker, I do want to actually do a 100% run of Wind Waker, the original game, in hero mode or pajama mode, whatever it's called. Let's see how strong this guy is. He may or may not have the same amount of health as the last lot. Oh, he seems to have a lot less health, actually. Yeah, he has a lot less health. But yeah, um, I do plan to do Link's pajama mode in the original game, but I do actually need to get a file that can just start in that mode from the get-go. Now, I don't know if... I can't remember how the original game works. Like, if I've already beaten the game, maybe I'll be able to just start in Link's pajama mode if I create a new file. If that's not the case, then what that would mean is that I have to actually get the... Um, hold on. just need to do this. But yeah, I'd need to get a full... Like, a fully completed normal file and then turn that file into Link's Hero Mode, which kind of sucks, or Pajama Mode, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know if it's called Hero Mode. All right, let's forget the targeting shit, because lo and behold, targeting actually doesn't help to target the enemies, <laughs> which is kind of stupid. But anyway, gonna go over here. And yeah, so that's the plan. I think I've got a, There's like a 50-50 chance when it comes to me being able to just create a hero. No, like a... I'm going to say pajama mode because I don't know if hero mode is correct. I have that in my mind, but I could be completely wrong about calling it hero mode. So I'm just going to call it pajama mode, which is sort of like the colloquial term that everyone uses for it. But yeah, in the original game, I'll just try and create a uh, pajama mode save and just do it like that. This is Ganon's Tower. This is sort of the first section that I'm referring to here. There are three sections in total. The first section is Ganon's Tower. The next one is sort of like this dark area where you fight Phantom Ganons and all of this business. And then the final one is actually doing the uh, Ganon boss fight, which goes in three stages. So, yeah. I would consider the three-stage Ganon boss fight to be a section in its own right, because you're in sort of a unique area that you need to traverse quite a bit to actually be able to fight the bosses themselves. And you'll see what I mean when I say that, if you don't know what I'm on about, uh, later on. Now, these rooms that we're about to enter here, I'll mention that we can't actually enter that room over there just yet. I mean, we can try if we want, but I'm not going to bother trying to open it and failing, just so you guys can see that we can't go in there. You're just going to have to take my word for it. But yeah, as we go into these rooms, we'll be able to take pictographs of bosses that we haven't taken pictographs of before, I will mention. So for those of you who are using this as a walkthrough and are indeed doing the pictograph side quest or pictobox side quest where you need to get the figurines make sure that you take your opportunity right now to I guess take pictures of these bosses because this is indeed the part of the game where you are fighting those bosses again and you can sort of see which boss you'll be fighting based on the door itself so I can tell that this boss is going to be the Kaledemos which is the second boss and I'm just going to try and guess what all of them are. I'm not too sure what this one is. It could be... I mean, realistically, it's... I mean, with the skulls, it's probably... Yalhalla. At least I think so. Anyway, we'll go over here. I guess I have a lot of time to, to spare. What's... Why the... Oh, the... 
No, that must be... No, that's, um... Molgera. Because I, for a second I thought Yalhalla was the boss of the Wind Temple, but obviously he's not. So that's Yalhalla over there. No, <laughs> Yalhalla is there. Uh, Molgera is there. Kaladamos is there. And then this must be... I don't know. What is that? It's strange, we don't have enough rooms for the for all of the bosses to be fought, so I'm not too sure exactly what this is. I think this is Goma. I think that's Goma. And I know that we also refight Godan, but I don't know where he is. Like, where the hell is Godan? Anyway. So that kind of includes all the bosses except for Godan. And I don't know where we fight him. Maybe we fight him in, in there. I don't know. Anyway, let's go fight the Kaladamos. We need the... Boomerang, of course. It's going to be very helpful for this fight. Maybe I should have tried to do it in order of, you know, what I'm actually... Uh, oh, yeah, so we do need to go through, like, a little... Okay. It's like a little section of the dungeon that we fought the boss in. You know, this is even more of a dead giveaway as to what we're going to be fighting. So, it would be kind of nice to have a unique boss for this area. In my opinion. Uh oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but I still managed to make it. So of course, uh, for those of you who are not aware, you don't actually need to aim for the windmill itself when it comes to operating the gondola here. You can just... Uh, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and please make it. I fucked that up. Okay, let's just... Uh, let's do that again, shall we? That's really annoying. Anyway, I've seen people in the past, and by people, uh, I probably mean Goron50, and he was the Let's Player that I watched play this game back in 2008, and uh, or maybe even late 2007. Whenever he started, I think I started watching it when he was at, like, part three or something like that, three or five. But, um, yeah, I saw him specifically aiming for the little windmill turning thing over there with the Deku Leaf to move the gondola. You don't actually need to do that. You can just blow the wind in the opposing direction to where you actually want to go, and then you go in that direction. That's uh, how that works. Hopefully I can actually make it over here. That's not going to work somehow. Oh, no, it might. I mean, I do have the extended magic bar, so I should be fine. With that taken into consideration, I didn't really need to kill myself last time, did I? Oh, that that wasn't a good idea. That wasn't a good idea at all. Now I've ruined everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if I cancel here and then sort of work out where I want to go... You know, I'd probably be able to make it to the other side there. I don't need to use the second gondola, I don't think. We're going to see how this goes. Am I going to make it? Ooh, that's definitely cutting it close. No, I'm going to make it, I think. <laughs> Not much room for error. Make sure you're going in a pretty straight direction when doing that. Because otherwise you're not going to get there fast enough. Alright, we're going to break this, see what's in there. Magic pot will be... actually won't be helpful because we don't need to use magic in the boss room. I believe this will be the boss room. I don't think we have to go through too much before getting to the boss, so... Yeah, that's the boss room. You're able to tell because everything goes a little bit wonky. Like I've had way too much to drink. Or maybe I've taken some sort of hallucin hallucinogenic drug. Oh, it'd be great, great if I could speak English. I don't know, maybe I'm mentally overloaded. Don't know why I can't speak all of a sudden. Uh, oh, where, where am I? Oh, right, so they make it so that you only have the weapons, or the items, rather, that you would have had when you were first fighting the Kaladamos. So we'll just... No, why am I... Uh, let's just put the grappling hook there. Hopefully it returns our items to normal later on. Because I was, like, going to press the thing to, to use... Um, Hold on, I, I need to actually equip the boomerang to R, because otherwise it's not going to work. Alright, we're going to throw that, obviously. Can you stop? Of course, having a health bar for the bosses is also very fun. I really don't remember that being a thing in the original game, but it probably was. I don't really see how they would change that, but anyway. I gen genuinely cannot remember. Let's go here, and then that should be the last one. Just going to attack with normal strikes there. And that's a even easier, of course, because we have a much stronger version of the sword that we were using back then. When we were first fighting the Kaladamos, we only had the regular weapon. Like the... Uh, what was it called? I mean, it was the sword, but it wasn't the hero's sword. It would have been... Ugh. 
It would have had some sort of specific term, but I can't remember it now. Was it Orca's Sword? It might have been called Orca's Sword. Well, yeah. Long story short, we didn't even have the sealed Master Sword at that point. And now we have the fully upgraded Master Sword, so obviously we're going to be killing these bosses a lot faster now. And the health bar that we're going to be seeing for the bosses is going to make it even more clear how much damage we're doing to them. So I think this is Goma. We're about to find out. If it looks like the Dragon Roost Cavern, yeah, this is indeed Goma. So, really? That's all we need to do? <laughs> then again... Uh... I have a distinct feeling that... How's that gonna work? The funny thing is, I don't really have any recollection of these rooms from the original game. Either my memory is fucked, or, like, I really don't remember these things at all. Um... So I'm gonna try... just... I'm gonna try, <laughs> right? I'm gonna see what we can do. Oh, that's not gonna... yeah. Oh, well. I did end up creating a path because I dropped it into the lava as I went flying into the air, but uh, it resets anyway. See, now why are those not melting away? That's what I want to know. This is definitely a mess. Alright, so we're going to start by equipping whatever we can equip here. I'm going to equip that to R. I'm going to put that... Uh, what am I going to need for this boss? Wait. This can't be Goma. Because look at all the items that I have. What is this? Hold on, what what is lava and fire? If it's not the Dragon Roost Cavern. Hold on. That's really confusing. Because remember before, we only had the items that... Or maybe... Oh, yeah. Okay, now I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I get it. It's because it's only during the boss fight that you can't have different items. And you see, the reason why I have none equipped here is because it's gone and reset it after I was in the boss fight before. So, alright. I was hoping it would return it to whatever I had before, but obviously it doesn't want to do that, which is slightly annoying. No, that's not how I want to do it. I'm just going to try swinging around here. Hmm. I don't even think I need to do that. Let, let's, let's let go. Land on that. Whoa, that's really dangerous. So this is all I really need to do. I don't need to use the water pots. Oh, that hurt. So I'm just going to... Uh... Oh. I kind of uh, overestimated the distance of that. Anyway. And when I say... I mean, some of you would say, No, that's called underestimating. But actually, I overestimated the distance that I would have been travelling had I continued to swing there and... Anyway, oh. oh, fuck. Alright, so that's all I needed to do here. It was actually a lot less complicated than I was trying to make it. It's because I was given the water pots as well. That's not quite how I want to do it. Let's... No, no, no. Fuck me. It's actually not what I wanted to do because I, I was wanting to hold R to stop, but I actually needed to hold ZR, which is just ridiculous. I'm making this look a lot more difficult than it actually is in a big way. So let's try and get to the end of here. Because I have already spent a lot of time going through this area in this video, so this time I'm going to hold ZR and climb up. So, God, this is really high up. For a second I thought I wasn't even facing in the right direction, like I genuinely thought that I was not. So what we're going to do here is equip the Deku Leaf, because I'm not doing this again. I'm not going to try and swing and then miss. I'm just going to use the Deku Leaf. Fuck it. Alright, so I'm going to ignore these enemies. I don't care about them. I'm going to head in here. I'm going to try and maybe do this fight and then one more boss fight before the end of the next video. Oh, we're straight into this. Let's go and... Yeah, we only need the grappling hook. So let's go up there. Once again, easiest boss in the game, so we're not going to have any problems doing this. And the rock drops on his head. Even the Great Valu is a part of this <laughs> refight here. 
Sort of like a memory, I guess you could say. Ouch. I don't even know what I got hit by there, to be honest with you. Need to avoid any attacks from that guy. Or that girl. I don't know if Goma is male or female in this game, to be honest. Very boring fight, really. Not the kind of fight that you want to do more than once, but I guess we have to do it twice in the game, so... I'm getting a little bit of slowdown here. It's not quite what I wanted. I'm on the edge of sneezing. <coughs> the funny thing is, uh, trivia for those who are interested, um, trivia in, like, regarding me, nothing particularly exciting, but, um, when I first played this game, I thought I was doing something wrong by swinging. Because it just, I guess it didn't seem like it was doing anything. But I was a kid and I guess I didn't realise that, uh... Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I can use the grappling hook, that's right. I had it in my head that I couldn't use it because I'm retarded. Apparently. Come on. There we go. And that's the boss killed. So I'm going to try and do one more. I don't really have the time to do two more. So, yeah. Or maybe it would be nicer to have the next video encompass two rather than one. So maybe I'll just end it here. This is part 62, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's 62. I'm just going to double check that. It is indeed 62. So I will see you guys in part 63. It is once again the 20th of July 2018 as I'm recording this, and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.